Welcome back to Cinemation Movie Recaps. Today I show you the movie, Automata, from 2014. Beware of spoilers. The film starts by showing tall buildings, the noise of vehicles, city lights, and some holographic people. This is a stark contrast to the surrounding areas showing complete poverty with very few people on the streets. Everywhere is a mess and untidy, littered with condemned gadgets. A man is driving a police car, wearing a jacket and raincoat. Everyone in the movie is wearing raincoats to avoid the impacts of acidic rain. The man goes to an abandoned building and met a yeller. He feels intimidated by a robot and suddenly fires a gun at it. The robot was manufactured by the company ROC and it is named 7000 Pilgrim. The next scene of the movie shows how useful and friendly the robots are to their human owners. Robots help humans in everything, like babysitting, household helper, and the like. Likewise, humans treat robots with special respect. Parents teach their children to offer flowers to the robots. Due to too much poverty, one of the owners of the pilgrim is submitting bad feedback about his pilgrim. He's trying to get insurance pay, so he lies and says that the dog died because of the pilgrim. However, the insurance agent, Jack Falcon, portrayed by Antonio Bandres, didn't believe the owner. Jack tests to see if the pilgrim is malfunctioning by holding a knife near it. As expected, the pilgrim reminded Jack that a knife is dangerous if he is not careful in using it. Jack denies the man's insurance claim. Jack goes home feeling exhausted and burned out. At home, he goes directly to drink wine and is met by his pregnant wife, Rekul, played by Birgit H. Short Sorensen. The couple watches a TV show and Rachel starts talking about the incoming birth of their baby while Jack listens. Jack has dreams of a young man on the seashore playing with the sea waves and a turtle until a message from his beeper appeared asking him to report to the police morgue. He goes to the police station to investigate the robot 7000 Pilgrim that was shot at the beginning of the movie. According to the report, the police officer claims the robot was malfunctioning and needs to be disconnected through violence so he shot it. The report also added that the robot was self-repairing. He didn't believe the report and the police conducted a test. The cop was positive for alcohol and methylamine. Jack and the more tech, played by Christina Tam, examine the corpse of the robot. The more technician removes the biokernel and other units. She also notices that the unit software has been altered to smuggle tools and parts which means the second protocol was violated. The morgue technician hands the bill, claiming the insurance fee for the pilgrim to Jack. Since the robot is an altered unit without a landlord, the ROC insurance should cover any compensations. She also gave Jack an idea of the who, the clocksmith, that possibly altered the pilgrim might be. Jack went to his work and discussed the case with Robert Bob Bold, portrayed by Robert Foster. Jack is telling Bold about the report given by the police. He also mentions that the robot has been altered so they need to prove that there is a clocksmith behind the alteration. Jack also mentions his plans of staying away from streets for a little while because he is feeling burnt out. Bob cheers him up by telling him how fortunate he is to have his job, his pod, and the insurance provided for their family. All he needs to do is to find someone and hold them responsible for the robot. Jack still feels his job and life are unstable, however. However, he still does his job. He pursues the investigation by talking to the construction manager, played by Andrew Tiernan, who also uses the same model of the robot. He tells the manager that one of his 7000s was found smuggling some stolen robot parts. The manager denies it, but he told him that the 7000s have 25 different parts that aren't registered to it, and some of them were units that came from them. He emphasizes that maybe one of his employees tried to change or modify the robots, but only ROC can do that. One of the employees of the construction company is complaining because the robots were getting worse and worse every day. The manager reviews the software units given by Jack. He finds out that the pieces of the 7000s were operating and it was actually on duty at that time. While investigating, the robot found him and he followed it. Jack reaches the restricted area which is dangerous to enter because unauthorized people can be shot at sight. Furthermore, anyone who went in the restricted area 
is out of the responsibility of security and the city government. He sees much electronic junk and goes inside on one of the wrecked shipping containers. He finds the robot had killed itself with a flame. Jack reasons, it is very unusual for a robot slash pilgrim to act that way. He returns to the insurance company to launch another investigation about it and report what he saw about the robot. Two technicians, played by Daniel Peter Curran and Krista Campbell, find Jack's story hard to believe. They further discover that the robot has a rare nuclear battery. That battery helps the robot to function once more. It talks for a while, but when Jack is questioning the robot, it was completely torn down. Jack and Bob have a secret yet serious conversation about the altered robots. Jack has a feeling that there is a clocksmith behind it that overrides the second protocol. Bob cannot accept Jack's idea, but offered him a transfer away from the city, if and if he can find evidence of that. Because of what happened to the previous robot slash pilgrim Jack's curiosity grew, and he begins to further investigate it. At Jack's that night, he saw his wife having an ultrasound on their baby before taking her out to dinner. While they were dancing, Jack told his wife about the possible transfer to the coast, but they argue about Jack's idea. He leaves their pod and goes to the city. He meets Wallace, portrayed by Dylan McDermott, the man who shot the 7,000 Pilgrim and Ellie's, portrayed by Andy Nyman. Jack and Wallace come to an agreement that they need to look for the locksmith who altered the robot that Wallace killed with his gun. Jack, Wallace, and Ellie's go to a brothel where they can find Cleo, a modified woman robot, voiced by Melanie Griffith, offering sensual service. They were thinking that a locksmith has altered Cleo. But Wallace, a hot-headed policeman, got mad at Cleo because she was not answering Jack's questions and fired his gun and shot Cleo's leg. When Jack protests, Wallace told him that Cleo's owner can be a lead to the clocksmith and also told Jack that he will kill him if he will not pay him. Jack followed Cleo and that leads him to meet Dr. Dupre, also portrayed by Melanie Griffith. Jack shows the burned robot CPU and bargain with Dr. Dupre that if she can locate the clocksmith then he will give the battery. When she installed the altered CPU in Cleo, the modified robot began to self-repair and demonstrate an ability to do tasks even better than before. Dr. Duper then contacts Jack and asks him to come to the place to discuss Cleo's improvement. The ROC intrudes on Jack's message. ROC decides to deploy some assassins to kill Jack and Dr. Dupre. Bob then sends Wallace after Jack. Wallace is still mad at Jack and thinks he will use this opportunity to kill Jack. Wallace is able to follow Jack, and the robot thanks to Jack's use of a flare. After reaching Jack's area, Wallace threatens Jack's life and shoots at the other bots. The two fight and Jack kill Wallace with a flare gun. Ellis has the nuclear battery and flies back to the city to be interrogated by the ROC company. Meanwhile, Rachel gave birth to their daughter at the hospital. In the beginning, she was treated well by the doctors and nurses since she has insurance. Robert's superior. Mr. Hawke reveals that long ago, they created a robot with more than a quantum type of brain. This pilgrim's first processor or brain was created without security protocols or restrictions. At first, this robot communicated with them. It's the human creator and both human and robot exchanged ideas the human learned from the robot and vice versa. But on the ninth day of their communication, humans noticed from this original robot that it started to learn by itself. It was then that they decided to limit the robot's intellectual capacity. They put protocol and restrictions, and even limit intellectual capacity at memory levels tailored to human intelligence. Humans created a biokernel that acts as the artificial intelligence of the robot, where the memory is stored. This was due to humans feeling too scared that robots would become more intelligent than themselves. Mr. Hawke told Robert that no one should break these protocols because they could harm the human race. Hawke sent men to the sandbox to retrieve Jack and took Rachel and the newborn into his protection at Jack's behalf. When Robert learns about this, he tries to reach for Jack, but someone from the employees prevents him from communicating with Jack. Mr. Hawke's assistant Vernon Conway Robert Bold, and two other gunmen together go into sandbox with Rachel and the baby in order to kill Jack. 
When they reach Sandbox, they find Wallace's body. Here, they have a heated argument because Bob is not in favor of killing Jack and rejects the idea of continuing their search for him. Conway gets mad at Bob and shoots him, and leaving him for dead in the sandbox. Meanwhile, Jack and Cleo reach their destination. There, they meet the Blue Robot, voiced by Javier Bardem. Blue Robot discusses with Jack that he and the other robots want to go to the radioactive area where humans cannot go. The robot also said tells Jack that robots naturally evolve just like humans. Blue Robot opens up a battery to power the lights and plays soft music. They want to entertain Jack because Jack seems sad and worried. Jack invited Cleo to dance and they sway on the floor. Jack is too drunk and tired. The next day Jack and the Blue Robot have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. After their philosophical conversation, Jack gives the nuclear battery to Blue Robot to complete their new dog insect designed robot. In return, they repair a car for him so he can go back to the city. When Conway and the team reach the robot's hideout, they destroy two out of four robots there, including the Blue Robot. Jack is already on his way back to the city. He finds the dying Bob and learns that Conway had Rachel and the baby is their hostage. Jack then goes back to the hideout as Conway injures Cleo and kills Blue Robot with his gun. Seeing the scenario in the hideout, Jack runs over Conway and kills all of the ROC assassins except for Conway. When Conway is preparing to kill Jack, the dog insect robot pushed him off the cliff and to his death. Jack, Rachel, and their infant reunite. Cleo and the dog insect robot ventured further into the canyon.